Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is what's new in the Edge Developer Tools for version 104. In version 104, we fixed rendering and accessibility bugs in the Issues, Network, and Detached Element tools. The Layers tool was completely removed since it's available in the 3D View tool instead. A new way to group files in the Sources tool was added, and now it's easier to find where nodes get slotted in web components. Let's dive in. First up, in each release of Microsoft Edge, we dedicate time to address customer reported bugs and feedback. Thank you so much for your feedback you send to us. It helps us make Microsoft Edge DevTools better for everyone. Here are some of the ones we fixed in version 104. In the issues tool, we made long URLs wrap or truncate, making each individual issue much easier to read. In the detached elements tool, Assistive Technology now announces the report table correctly with the number of rows and columns. In the Network tool, the icons indicating WebSocket messages direction didn't render correctly before. In version 104, green up arrows now represent messages sent by the client and red down arrows represent messages sent by the server. Next, we completely removed the Layers tool. For a few releases now, a way to explore the composited layers created by the browser on the web page was available in the 3D View tool already. This made the Layers tool no longer necessary. During this phase-out period, we kept the Layers tool, but it only contained a link to the 3D View tool. Now, in version 104, we completely removed the Layers tool, making the user interface of DevTools much simpler. To find out more about this, Check out the blog post about debugging the web in 3D with the link in the description. Next are some updates from the Chromium project, which Microsoft Edge is based on. In the Sources tool, two types of resources are often displayed on the file list on the left, the ones loaded from the server by the web page and the original development sources loaded by the source maps. In version 104, you can now enable the group files by authored slash deployed option to separate these two types of resources and make it easier to find the sources you want to debug. In the elements tool, it's now easier to find shadow DOM slots where elements are inserted in web components. It's possible to define slots in web components shadow DOM to insert custom content in a component. Because the custom content is originally in the light DOM of the page, it's hard to find where it ends up in a component without expanding lots of nodes. In 104, slotted elements now have a badge next to them. Clicking that badge brings you directly to the slot they're inserted in. And that's it for what's new in Microsoft Edge DevTools with version 104. You can find more information about these updates and other updates on our documentation website. Before wrapping this up, did you know that you can choose where the activity bar is displayed in DevTools with the new Focus Mode UI? The activity bar contains the list of current tools opened in other useful menu options. By default, its location depends on where DevTools is docked. When the DevTools is undocked in its own window or docked at the bottom of the browser, then the activity bar appears horizontally at the top of DevTools. If DevTools is docked to the side of the browser, then the activity bar is vertical. You can actually force the activity to bar to always be vertical or horizontal if that's what you prefer. Just select Customize and Control DevTools and select Activity Bar Location and choose a side. That's it for today. If you have any feedback, ideas, feature requests, or bugs, Join our community on GitHub at github.com slash Microsoft Edge slash dev tools. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at MS Edge Dev and like and subscribe to stay tuned for what's coming next with version 105.